Ooh, we're uncovering the cap. Now, some of the fruits of our labor <laughs> revealed. <laughs> Whoa! As the most precious details start to come alive. I see you have your supervisor over there. <laughs> Murphy, let me know. Good so far. And so, uh, the concrete too. Tell me about the concrete, Sean. The concrete. Well, what we do to try to keep the concrete as green as possible is we use a 30% recycled blast furnace slag additive, which is basically when rebar is made. The byproduct of which is a bunch of molten uh, metal, and then they pulverize it. And instead of throwing it into the landfills, you can use it as part of the replacement for cement. And that's the recycled, reused part of our concrete admix. And how? What's the percentage? Thirty percent additive, and it also does make the concrete stronger because it takes longer to dry and the longer concrete takes to dry, the stronger it is. Excellent information. You got it. And there's Murphy, the job mascot. He's always smoking on the job. We keep trying to get him to stop, <laughs> but there he is. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, what's your name? Hi, I'm Laurie Moore from the Moore Group. Um, recently formed group to help facilitate green projects like this one. For Sean, we're doing some resource work, trying to find uh, earth-friendly materials and things that he needs to pull this project together, like the waterproofing for the ICF systems, um, stucco systems for the ICF systems, FSC lumber, uh, low VOC paints and stains, things like that. And, local uh, materials. Local and materials, absolutely, which we think and have been using are far superior to what we can get elsewhere. So we're really, really uh, And helping to orchestrate the team and facilitate the LEED certification and keep everybody in line with what they do so that's that... That's right, crack the whip. That's you know, it. Things along, that's what we do. Can you see it in her face? She's the whip cracker. <laughs> All right, thank you, Lori. Sure. My pleasure. Jackie. So Author of you, am Edible I go, am Forest I go, Garden. Am I, am I on now? You're on. You're live. I'm live. You are. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm Dave Jackie. I'm the author of Edible Forest Gardens, www.edibleforestgardens.com. Um, I was the primary landscape design consultant for this project, this challenging project, trying to work out grading and uh, landscape design and drainage issues, trying to make the site uh, not have any contaminated water flow off site, have it all go into the ground, infiltrate into the ground, uh, on site irrigation, edible landscaping, ecosystem design, trying to design an ecosystem, design this site as an ecosystem so that it functions to create a healthy, biodiverse, natural resource building, soil building ecosystem that will also feed the people who live here. So, uh, Feed them with what, Dave? Feed them with what? Yes. What kind of stuff are we putting in on this well, job? Well, we're talking about fruits and vegetables, perennial vegetables, annual vegetables, um, herbs, culinary herbs, medicinal herbs, uh, wildflowers, flowers for the table, flowers to eat, root crops. Uh, gosh, I can't remember it all. It's a long list. Uh, a lot of different things there. Cool. So, uh, you know, it's uh, coming along. My time is, is, a, is a ways off. Because uh, I'm usually the last guy on the job, mm -hmm. so we'll be we'll be making it look good at the end. So awesome, awesome, Dave. Thank uh, you. You're welcome. Because I know it's wicked early in the morning, Paul, for you. You're right. <laughs> Hello again. So this guy here, this is our guy, our HVAC guy, our plumbing and heating specialist. He does all that high performance stuff, and he'll give you more of a rundown. We're actually here at the shop, and um, he's done a high performance heating system for us here. I'm Paul Graham from Paul's Plumbing and Heating. Um, basically what we did is we installed the solar system with vacuum tubes on the roof to provide hot water and heat for the building. 
We got a indirect water heater on the side for a backup, as well as a wood boiler for the primary heat source to the house. And what are our plans for Pleasant Street as far as um, being able to integrate the solar heating as into the hydronic system? We're gonna basically we're gonna do the same same kind of design with the low water temperature heating system. We're going to put an indirect sort of like the Takagi on the wall with the solar tying in so that way the lower temperature we can have the more solar heat we can get off of it. Awesome. Bonus. Don't have anything like funny to add, Paul? You don't have any scars on your head today. <laughs> yeah, You're bleeding from the head or anything. These guys are generally a lot more funny than this. You put them on the spot and then this is what happens. But thanks. Thanks, Paul. Hey, Clay. <laughs> How you How doing you Sean? today? I'm fine, thanks. How are you doing? Pretty good, pretty good. So we have to give our people out of California a little blurb about all the talent that's involved with this project. Would you mind introducing yourself and talking a little bit about what you do and Wait how a minute. you do it? Sure. All the people that you've affected by sure. doing it. My name's Clay Crow with Manus Graphics here in East Hampton. I'm a graphic designer and a sign maker. I made this sign. Um, basically my job on this project has been to uh, help promote the idea and let everybody know around the area what we're trying to do here. Um, this is obviously sort of an educational sign and uh, we feel it's important to uh, uh, illuminate everybody on uh, what that we're trying to do some green building here. And we all feel that it's very important, myself for one, and uh, I've lent my professional expertise to help make it happen. One of the ways to do that is to put these nice little signs. Each one of these signs is uh, representing somebody that's helped on this project. And as you can see, there's quite a few of them. And I'm gonna add this one probably one of the more important people on the project. There you go. <laughs> and uh, it's my job to move things around and uh, <laughs> make sure that they all look uh, designerly. Nice balance. There you go. Well, thank you, Clay. We appreciate that. Always His involvement is unfathomable. <laughs> Bye. Thanks, Clay. <laughs> CET. Center for Ecological Technology. And check it out. Prius. Prius. Not Prius. <laughs> this is a very green area of the planet to live. Okay, so I'm here with Beth Paulson from CET, Center for Ecological Technology. The lovely and charming Miss Beth Paulson. <laughs> <laughs> so Beth, tell and us a little a bit. Uh, yeah. So tell us a little bit about CET. Well, CET is the Center for Ecological Technology, and our role in this project is as the lead for homes provider. 